Hello everyone, it is I, Mitch. We are back with our monthly list of best PC games for November 2021. This month, a few of the biggest titles this year are going to release. A big time for especially first person shooter fans with both Call of Duty and Battlefield making their debut. Without further ado, let's have a look at all the games. Coming in first, Call of Duty Vanguard. This latest Call of Duty game drops you right into the chaos of a simulated World War II battlefield. The game mechanics are pretty much standard COD, and you'll find your feet almost instantly if you are familiar with the FPS genre. Despite Activision choosing the hackneyed World War II game for its new title, the game feels starkly different from 2017's Call of Duty World War II. Vanguard is more like 2020's Black Ops Cold War wrapped in a World War II skin. Its solo campaign storyline looks fresh and expansive, climbing walls and rooftops never gets old, Vanguard gunplay is fast, and the weapons do justice to the 1940s with a heavier feel and increased recoil. It also has the weapon mounting mechanism, and weapons are very customizable too. Its multiplayer has a bunch of new stuff to get gamers excited. One of the essential additions is combat pacing, a new form of customizable matchmaking. With tactical lobbies, our classic 6v6. Assault has balanced pacing with 20 to 28 players, and Blitz gets you into high intensity lobbies featuring 28 to 48 players. The familiarity in gameplay is enticing for COD fans to jump right in, but the theme is what makes it an alternative to Cold War. We were the Vanguard. Coming in next, Battlefield 2042. This is also a first person shooter that marks the return of the iconic all out warfare of the franchise. In a near future world transformed by disorder, the players need to overcome dynamically changing battlegrounds with the help of your squad and a big arsenal of weapons. The battles can support up to 128 players with lots of chaos and destruction, dynamic weather and spectacular world events. The maps have been specifically designed for this vast scale, with action divided into clusters of various kinds. You can customize weapons, gear, rules, and more in this new creative sandbox mode. You can replay classic experiences from Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 3, and Bad Company 2, or discover the new world of Battlefield 2042 itself. It also features the return of Breakthrough Mode, and a new Hazard Zone mode where you are inserted as a four-member squad. You must locate and retrieve the data drives scattered throughout the map, while competing against opposing squads with the same objective and local militias. Succeed by gathering the data drives and choosing when to extract before a storm overtakes the area in this high-stakes, one-life experience. Every bullet counts. Up next, Century Age of Ashes a free-to-play multiplayer dragon battle game where you need to master a growing roster of classes and dragons, compete in intense arena battles, and rule the skies in fast-paced aerial combat. You compete in online games ranging from 3v3 to 6v6 against other players. Three varied game modes, Carnage, Spoils of War, and Gates of Fire are playable right now. Carnage is a 6v6 killing spree with special power-ups appearing in the arena. It's team deathmatch, just in Dragon Rider style. In Gates of Fire mode, two teams clash over possession of the flag. Finally, in Spoils of War mode, you steal gold from AI creatures and the enemy team while protecting your own gold nest. Experience different playstyles with three unique classes, each with their own abilities. These are Wind Guard, the Marauder, or Phantom. Century Age of Ashes is completely free to play. In order to keep the experience fair and equitable, in-game purchases are purely cosmetic. Battles are won by skill and teamwork alone. A must play for all free to play lovers. Coming in next, Farming Simulator 22. It's a farming simulation co-op game in its 2022 avatar. It's come with an addition of seasonal cycles now. New machine categories and new crops will add new gameplay mechanics to the experience. You take on the role of a modern farmer and creatively build your farm in three diverse American and European environments. 
Farming Simulator 22 offers a huge variety of farming operations focusing on agriculture, cattle management, and forestry. There are more than 400 machines and tools from over 100 real agricultural brands like John Deere, Klaus, Case IH, New Holland, etc. to sow and harvest crops like wheat, corn, potatoes, and cotton. You can even run your farm cooperatively in multiplayer and extend the game by a multitude of free community-created modifications. Farming Simulator 22 offers more player freedom than ever before and challenges you to become a successful farmer. So get your inner farmer out and let the good times grow. Up next in our list, Forza Horizon 5, the latest installment of the Forza Horizon series the open-world racing simulator game. You explore the world landscapes of Mexico with fun driving action in hundreds of the world's best cars. The open world of this is really worth checking out. Lots of contrast and beauty, big deserts, lush jungles, historic cities, hidden ruins, beaches, canyons, and even a snow-capped volcano. The campaign is big with hundreds of challenges that reward you for activities you do in-game. You can also meet new characters and play their Horizon Story missions. The game features dynamic seasons that change the world every week to keep the game fresh. For multiplayer, you can team up with other players and enter the Horizon Arcade for a series of over-the-top challenges that keep you and your friends in the action and it comes with no menus, loading screens, or lobbies. You can also create your own custom races, challenges, or entirely new game modes and share your custom creations with the community. Get in. Up next, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. As you can guess from the name itself, this is an action-rich detective story game. In this first chapter, young Sherlock Holmes struggles to prove himself as he navigates a dangerous island in the Mediterranean to investigate the mystery of his mother's death. Whether you choose brute force to solve problems or stay one step ahead of your enemies by using your wits to spot vulnerabilities, you decide what each situation demands. You never know where your next clue will come from. Explore and exploit the entire city in your pursuit of clues. Rumors, disguises, tags, and pinned evidence to build a solid case within your mind palace. Weapons might help you in a pinch, but there are other better ways. Just spot enemy vulnerabilities with your excellent observation skills, or exploit the environment to take someone down while keeping your own hands clean. There are two sides to every story, and the world has their own ideas about truth and justice. It's up to you to decide whether uncovering the truth will do more harm than good. Coming in next, Lens Island an open-world dungeon crawler with farming sim and base-building elements that looks like it'll have big appeal to fans of Stardew Valley and Hades alike. You can basically build, fight, farm, and explore. In more detail, you can start building your home, tending to your crops, or explore the mysteries of the island. But don't forget to take a sword with you. You start the game as a newcomer to the town with only the tools in your backpack and a can-do attitude. You can engage in a wide range of combat types and loadout combinations. If you're getting bored of building your home, just tend to your crops and go meet the local townsfolk. Or even better, there are deep, dark dungeons below the island with plenty to explore. You can grow exotic plants and flowers to sell back to the villagers for gold. There are a lot of small rewarding things to do, sort of like mini quests. Whether it's finding a long lost sword, rebuilding an old broken bridge, or finding secret rooms in the dungeons. There are many small things to uncover on the island, which fills it with casual fun. Coming in next, let's build a zoo. Yes, it's time to build a zoo. Construct and decorate cages, buy and breed lots of animals, hire zookeepers and vets, or maybe try your hand at DNA splicing and stitch together over 300,000 different types of animals. Yeah, you heard me right you can give birth to completely new species, ranging from giraffe fence to the panda owls. There are over 500 different base animals at your disposal. Then you can DNA splice them together for thousands of new combinations. You also need to keep your animals and your visitors happy by building lots of buildings, foliage paths, and cage decorations. You can almost control everything that happens in your park, from what your animals eat to what eats your animals. 
we found the DNA combo really worth it. Creating monstrosities and oddities is kind of fascinating. Ever wondered what a Chikaka would look like? You can find out in here. Up next, Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's a sci-fi dinosaur simulation game and much-awaited sequel to Jurassic World Evolution. It offers an all-new narrative campaign voiced by cast members from across the Jurassic World film franchise. New features, four game modes, and an expanded roster of old and new dinosaurs. In its story mode, you work alongside characters from the movies, including Dr. Ian Malcolm and Claire Deering, and lead the efforts to control, conserve, and contain wild dinosaurs now rampaging across the USA mainland. In crafting activities, you can construct a range of customizable new buildings, hire new scientists, and shape your park to meet the needs of guests and dinosaurs. There are over 75 different prehistoric species come to life in this Jurassic world, including highly requested flying and marine reptiles. These animals feel more alive than ever as they preside over territory, fight for dominance, and react to the world around them. You can also use bioengineering to customize dinosaurs with new colors and traits. Last on our list, Grow Song of the Evertree. It is a casual adventure game where you bring the Evertree back to life in this world crafting sandbox with life management elements. The plot goes like with long times, the worlds of Alaria faded. The Evertree, where many worlds resided on its branches, is now nothing more than a sapling. No one knows how to make it grow again, but not you. You are different. You are the last of the Everheart alchemists, and it is your ancestral task to take care of the Evertree. In this game world, blooming with fantastic fauna and flora as you are encouraged to explore this world at your own pace, exploring caves and solving puzzles, collecting minerals and flowers, fishing or catching bugs, it's up to you. Through the World Seed plus Alchemy, you get to generate totally new worlds with unique characteristics, tend those worlds, and see how they change, and watch as new properties emerge before your eyes. You can generate meadows, deserts, frozen worlds, and some seeds may contain unexpected surprises. And that wraps up our list of best new PC games to play in November of 2021. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to us, and ring that bell icon so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. See you next time, and enjoy the rest of your day.